Oh yeah, doing the thing, yeah. The best description for pro wrestling we've ever heard is that it's predetermined violence, but the outcome of the violence is very real. The risks our favorite wrestlers take to entertain us are insane, and of course, to properly execute the most simple of wrestling moves takes months to years of practice. When done right, dangerous moves will make you question how anyone survived, and in this list, we're presenting our top 8 most dangerous moves. So strap yourself in and get ready to scream, OH MY! God! Number 8. The Phoenix Plex. From the creative mind of Kota Ibushi comes the Phoenix Plex, a bridging powerbomb suplex with a reverse full Nelson. This move was popularized as the Del Sol driver by Samurai Del Sol, and also by Dragon Lee as the Dragon Driver. This move is similar to Chris Hero's Rubik's Cube in its landing, but it's way more dangerous with a lot more room for error due to the added momentum of the bridging suplex motion. Number 7. The Styles Clash AJ Styles set the wrestling community on fire when he debuted the Styles Clash on World Championship Wrestling Thunder in 2001, but it wasn't until his run in TNA that he became super well known for it as a finishing move. Apparently, Styles invented the move on his trampoline with his brother, and in 1998 when he became a pro wrestler, he started utilizing his creation. The move itself can be very dangerous, as wrestlers are taught to tuck their chins when taking a bump, but to take the Styles Clash, they need to bridge their necks back, which has led to a few injuries from the Styles Clash. Yoshi Tatsu almost got paralyzed for tucking his chin, and he broke two bones in his cervical vertebrae, and James Ellworth was very lucky not to get hurt for doing the same thing. Number 6. The Kudom Valentine more commonly known as the Vertebreaker, the back-to-back -back double underhook pile driver was invented by the Japanese wrestler Megume Kudo, and is often called the Kudo Driver. Popularized by Sugar Shane Helms in WCW as the Vertebreaker, the move has been banned in the WWE for the obvious reason that the receiver's arms are restrained, risking injury to the back of the neck. However, with the right technique and strength required, the move looks totally devastating. Currently used by Homicide and Cheerleader Melissa as the Cop Killer and the Kudo Driver, this dangerous move is something special to witness, but it still makes us feel uneasy at the same time, especially when Homicide does it because he makes it look so damn vicious. Number 5. The Tiger Driver 91 Mitsuhara Mishua's Tiger Driver 91 gets its name from the debut of the move on January 20th, 1991. The move, a double underhook powerbomb, is particularly dangerous due to the opponent being dropped across the top of their shoulders and the back of the neck instead of flat like a traditional powerbomb. Mr. Watt's wrestling style was legendary for his hard-hitting King Road style, and the moves he created are still being used today due to their ability to oppress crowds with their dangerous nature. Number 4. The Burning Hammer the ultimate finisher was created by Kenta Kabashi during his feud with Misawa. It was only used seven times, with the final two times being a modified wrist clutch version. The move is essentially an inverted Death Valley driver where the receiver gets flipped off the shoulders and driven down onto their head like a pile driver. The move has been widely adapted by wrestlers due to how damn cool it looks, but is performed a lot safer today than Kabashi's version. If you're enjoying this list, hit that like and subscribe, and don't forget to let us know in the comments if you can think of any dangerous moves we haven't covered. Number 3. The Pile Driver. Widely believed to have been invented in the 30s by pro wrestler Wild Bill Longson, the Pile Driver is one of the most dangerous moves ever and has been banned across multiple promotions many times over. Regardless of which version of the Pile Driver, they're all incredibly dangerous, seeing the receiver lifted up with their head between the opponent's legs and then driven onto the top of their head. When botched, this move can compress the discs in the spine and has even resulted in broken necks. The sit-out tombstone version of the Pile Driver, known as the Fire Thunder Driver is particularly dangerous. It was this move that almost crippled Stone Cold Steve Austin when Owen Hart accidentally temporarily paralyzed Austin by spiking him with the move. In 2013, ROH star BJ Whitmer took a vicious pile driver on the outside ring apron from Michael Bennett and it almost ended his career, leaving him unable to move and requiring him to be stretched out of the arena. Number 2. The Steiner Screwdriver 
The Steiner screwdriver is another pile driver, but it's so impressive and insanely dangerous that it deserves its own spot on this list. Scott Steiner is a genetic freak pun intended. His strength and agility in the ring are second almost to none, and his screwdriver proves it. Dropping the receiver from a stalling vertical suplex into a fire thunder driver is nothing short of unbelievable. The move itself has been used in recent times by Brian Cage, who calls his version the drill claw, as well as Puck, who has executed this move from the top rope. The move is so dangerous that even Scott Steiner himself has only used it a handful of times in his career. Number 1. The Shaker Height Spike The Shaker Height Spike is without a shadow of a doubt the most reckless and insanely dangerous move to ever be performed in the wrestling business. How? Nobody got seriously injured. Taking this move is a total mystery, but the Beverly Brothers used it to make themselves look like threats to the main tag teams in the WWF at the time, despite being mid-card guys. The team themselves only have a job to the main tag teams in the WWF, but the treatment that they gave to the enhancement talent was so dangerous that this move earns its spot at the very top of the list. It saw wrestlers launched high into the air, then having their heads forced down pile driver style into the mat with zero protection. 